From the hopper, a wheeled concrete buggy moves the material to a second drop pipe and down to the level where the invert or track slab is being placed. But the MTA's construction program is hardly limited to the 63rd Street line. On 2nd Avenue, for example, work is getting underway on a new subway line that will run from the Bronx all the way down to the tip of Manhattan. Here in the South Bronx, the old 3rd Avenue L, out of service for some time, is being dismantled. In its day, it was a transit improvement. But today, the shadow that the L structure casts over this neighborhood calls for a change. Now, the transportation needs of the community are being met by modern, comfortable bus service. In Jamaica, Queens, another L section is scheduled for removal. A new subway line, which will replace a portion of the old Jamaica Avenue L, is already under construction, one block to the south on Archer Avenue. Due to soft soil conditions, normal excavation procedures here would threaten to undermine adjacent building foundations. Expensive shoring up work would, of necessity, have to precede a conventional approach to the job. In this case, however, the engineers have chosen a new construction technique, the slurry wall process, to build a massive retaining wall underground without disturbing any surrounding structures. A six and a half ton clamshell bucket is used to cut a vertical trench about two and a half feet wide to a depth of 55 feet. The key to this operation is a liquid slurry with which the trench is filled during excavation. Slurry, a mixture of bentonite clay and water, is prepared at this mixing plant, stored in these tanks and pumped out to excavation areas as needed. The mass of the liquid, approximately equal to the soil being removed, is sufficient to support the walls of the trench as the excavation proceeds. After each 15-foot section of the trench is dug, steel soldier beams are placed at the ends and secured. And an ironwork reinforcement cage is lowered into place. The concrete used in the slurry wall process is a special mix. It must flow easily and must not set up too quickly. The pour must be carried out as rapidly as possible. And once begun, material must be supplied continuously. To ensure quality, the end of the concrete pipe must be kept below the surface of the concrete mass as its level rises in the trench. So the pipe is periodically shortened by removing sections. Here in Queensbridge Park, the MTA is doing a different kind of job. One of the two principal staging areas for the 63rd Street Tunnel Project, the park is now undergoing complete restoration. A new river wall is being built. A stairway and overlook are taking shape. This ventilation building will be the only remaining visible sign of the tunnel's presence. Landscapers are busy putting in old-fashioned lamps which will light and new trees which will shade the graceful walkways leading to the river. There are new trees in Central Park too. The MTA has already planted over 100 in various locations. Here at 7th Avenue, the open cut isn't open anymore. 
And this pile of rocks? They are numbered sections of a majestic rock outcropping which will be reassembled and reset. Recreation facilities are being updated too. The old playground, which was disrupted when construction began in the park, has been replaced by an entirely new concept, a water playground. Today, countless happy children use and enjoy this exciting new facility. Tomorrow, these young people will join millions of others in the greater New York region in enjoying the use of expanded and improved transit facilities made possible by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Thank you.